iOS 18 and iPad OS 18 are almost here. We are less than a month away from the betas and thanks to Apple themselves, we now know some of the new features and changes when it comes to accessibility that different users can expect. The first new feature that has been announced here is going to be advanced eye tracking that's going to come both to the iPhone and to iPad. And Apple has mentioned that this is going to be powered by AI or artificial intelligence. Their own news article page actually mentioned this directly which is going to be game changing and this feature is going to be an accessibility one and it will be able to help your iPhone or iPad to distinguish between the right eye or the left eye like this as you open and close and it will help you to be able to navigate different elements of your device and at the same time it will be able to help you to see which exact button of the device you are looking at or which function you want to perform and it will give you assistance to be able to do that accordingly by means of this new feature. If you listen to a lot of music and you have hearing problems or you are deaf and you want a different way to experience music, well, thanks to Music Haptics, which is a new feature too that's going to be available on these different devices, it will be able to give users a different way to experience music by means of Music Haptics. The device will be able to emit different haptic feedbacks and when you are holding the device and playing a specific song it will be able to go according to the rhythm of the beat or just to be able to give a user a different perspective to enjoy the music themselves. iOS 18 will also introduce a new feature for a wide range of speech and as you can see here it will give various users the ability to set up vocal shortcuts and since this utilizes and allows the device to go through the shortcut to trigger the function and the device will be able to listen for different uh, voice prompt this means that if you have the latest iPhone, you can basically use the action button to be able to trigger certain phrases and then your device will use machine learning to recognize user speech patterns. And then you can see here, you'll be able to set up different phrases by saying them repeatedly. And you can see here, for example, this is saying teach your iPhone to recognize this phrase by saying it three times. So you could say something like Kendrick, 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 three times and that you can set up to be able to trigger a specific phrase or to know what you're doing and then here you can see that with this vocal shortcuts iphone and ipad users can assign custom utterances and siri can understand to launch shortcut and complete task by assigning specific phrases that the iphone will understand through this vocal shortcut identification again like apple mentions this is going to be enhanced by means of artificial intelligence or ai if you experience sensory conflicts or motion sickness then with the latest ios 18 apple is introducing a new feature to help you combat that by means of vehicle motion cues that can help you reduce this effect and you can see here if the vehicle is accelerating you have these dots on the screen that will basically show the movement for example if the vehicle is accelerating you see that these dots if you are reading a specific article you notice these dots come all the way to the back because it pulls you back when you're accelerating and then when you are braking it, it pulls you forward and so the different turns that you do as well like left turn you notice where the dots go and then right turn so it's counter to the motion of the vehicle and by means of motion sickness cues you can then prepare your mind and that way it won't affect you if you have motion sickness or sensory conflict in a way. If you have a car that has CarPlay, then also there's this advanced CarPlay that will be able to get voice control with more accessibility updates. And by these accessibility features, you'll be able to use your voice to control different features such as voice control, turn up the volume, turn down the volume, you know, color filters and sound recognition, which you can also set with an advanced shortcut like we've seen is one of the new features that's coming. And the update to CarPlay includes sound recognition, which allows drivers and passengers who are deaf or hard of hearing to turn on alerts to be notified of certain horns and sirens so you can then set up this accessibility to recognize when a fire truck an ambulance or a police or if someone is honking then 
it will be able to prompt you by that feature of sound recognition if you have the apple vision pro then by means of new vision os updates that are going to be coming with in the WWDC 2024 features. You also get live captions at this point in Canada. We're still waiting for the Apple Vision Pro to be available. Now for users that have low vision or are blind, voiceover will include new voices as well that will allow you to be able to customize volume controls and offer you the ability to customize your keyboard on Mac if you use Mac OS. The magnifier application is going to receive an update and and this update is going to enhance it by allowing it to offer a new reader mode and the ability to launch it with the action button for quick triggers as well. There's also going to be braille screen input for users that use braille inputs on the iPhone and on the iPad and it's going to be supported in different languages such as Japanese and so on. If you're a person that uses personal voice on your device, there's also going to be the ability to use it now in more languages such as Mandarin and at the same time if you have difficulties moving your you know yourself around or your fingers and you can only use your device in a limited area there's also going to be like a virtual trackpad that's going to be able to help you to navigate your device more easier For the apple watch and workouts there's going to be apple fitness plus workout meditation and trainers tips that will welcome users who are deaf or hard to hear with American Sign Language and Time to Walk will now include transcript in the Apple Podcast application. Switch Control will also allow the iPhone to recognize different swipe gestures using your finger and it will be able to help you do that actual function that you want to do and at the same time there's going to be enhancements to voice control so Apple is mentioning that they are pushing ahead with accessibility and they're going to be hosting different sessions at different locations at the Apple Store to be able to help those that can benefit best from this. So kudos to Apple for pushing forward with this. And these are all going to be coming with iOS 18 and iPad OS 18, which are going to be in beta starting June 10 going forward. So I'll be testing those features here on the channel, among others on watchOS, iOS, and macOS. So if if that's something that you want to see then definitely hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out peace